Good morning, Mr. Gorman. Um, do you want a Sapporo? And I'm Josie Molaski. And it's the first day of spring. Even though I'm injured, this beautiful day helps me to remember to appreciate the little things in life, like a spring picnic. Please stand for the prayer and the pledge. And remember that we are in God's holy presence. In, in the, the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the, Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. As I look around me, I can take the time to stop and look around and admire at what you have achieved. Even through my mistakes, stumbles, and losses, I can see that you will always be there to give me insights to move forward toward higher goals and accomplishments. Amen. In the, In the name, name of the, the Father, and of the Son, and of the, and of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Amen. And now for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you, Are you ready for the best day ever, Mr. Gorman? Because BGTV is coming at you in five, four, three, two, one. Good morning, Bishop Gorman. I'm Haley Hayhurst. I'm Zach Zeller. And, and this, this is VGTV. TV. It's Friday, March 20, 2015, and on this day in 1916, Albert Einstein published his general theory of relativity. Einstein developed the theory of space and unintentionally shaped modern physics for years to come. It was about time to... Today is also the first day of spring, which means it is officially time to spring into action and start looking into summer jobs. If the thought of making your bank account green as grass appeals to you, Kelton Sorensen is here to sprout your interest. Time is ticking and it won't stop, so summer is coming regardless. Why not make a little bit of money? Every two weeks I hire new employees, and that's every two weeks for all the different stores that we have in Las Vegas, including like Fashion Show Mall, Planet Hollywood, and both the North and South outlets. Because the time of the year, most jobs provide flexible hours. And we're very flexible with hours, so I'm looking for part-time and full-time. Any type of schedule work, if you're doing school in the morning and the afternoon, or if you have um, an open schedule, anything works. Obtaining a job may be easy if you know what the manager is looking for. I'm looking for very energetic people that are prepared to um, learn. It's not a very hard thing, but I do look for people that are like ready to be social and are very easygoing. There's nothing stopping you from making your own cash this summer. I'm Kelton Sorensen reporting for BG TV. Prom is only a month away and it's about time to say yes to the dress for all the girls out there. Alexa Bell Castro went to the Fashion Show Mall to show us what's hot this prom season. Hey Bishop Gorman, I'm Alexa Bell Castro and I'm back with another What's Hot segment. As we spring forward, so is our spring fashion which was displayed here this past Saturday at Saks Fifth Avenue while donating 10% of all items sold that day to tuition assistance at Bishop Gorman. I think it opens a lot of doors uh, for them, for their future, and it's a fabulous education. The school has wonderful teachers, and being a supporter of the community at Saks Fifth Avenue is our opportunity to give back and help the school. Just to note some of the dresses that were rocked by our own Bishop Gorman students, Janie Fielden rocking the La Femme navy gown, Amanda Morton looking great in the BCBG pink gown, and Maggie DeFetta Rico rocking the La Petite rose black gown. Those are just few of the amazing dresses found here at Saks Fifth Avenue, so come and find your prom dress today. I'm Lex Bell Castro, and that's what's hot, Bishop Gorman. As Einstein would say, announcements are relative, so let's accelerate through these announcements that most definitely matter.
Congratulations to our two freshmen of the week, Haley Brown and Darren Brown, who have both been nominated nine times. Keep up the hard work. Next Monday through Wednesday, the Learning Center will be hosting their second annual Snackathon in order to collect treats for schools less fortunate. You can receive service hours for making posters and bagging snacks, so please be generous. The only thing I know about basketball is it has the potential to take up our school's bandwidth lately. The reason I'm not on sports and Dylan is, yeah, Dylan? <laughs> I'm, doing, I'm doing well, Haley. But anyway, our baseball team is living up to their lofty ranking and is sitting at 2-0, dominating Canyonville 11-0 and defeating Liberty High School 4-2. Please try to come out tomorrow at 11 a.m. to support the men's team as they face a familiar face on the gridiron as well as the diamond in Santa Margarita. Keeping it in the diamond, the softball team has remained competitive and relentless, taking on Marina and then South Torrance from California in the Torrance, California National Tournament. Good luck, ladies. The men's golf team defeated Shadow Ridge last night, 213 and 219. Good game, guys. The women's lacrosse team absolutely dominated our rival Palo Verde last night in an 18-2 thrashing. BGTV Sarah Brodsky was there. Last night, our very own women's lacrosse team challenged Palo Verde at the Crossings Park. Maddie Lauer starts with the ball and sends it straight over to Whitney Worksman. Emily Lauer runs straight through Paolo's defense and shoots it in for the very first goal. Whitney catches the ball and sends it straight over to Emily for another high-low shot. Skyler throws a quick pass to Serena near the goal line and there's another goal. Gorman defeated Paolo with a final score of 18-2. I'm Sarah Brodsky, that's it for Women's Lacrosse. Now for track. The men absolutely killed Legacy 128 to 54, and the women also crushed them 94 to 77. Kelton Sorensen was there to provide intel about how the meet went. Tuesday afternoon, our track team took on the Legacy Longhorns. This is the start of the men's mile. This would lead to a battle for first place. As you see, going into the last lap, the Legacy Longhorns leads. But Robert Diesler prevails to win with less than a second to spare. Vashti Cunningham took first place in the high jump, jumping six feet and a quarter. There were many notable first place finishes by our girls this Tuesday, but another one was the women's 400 meters. This was won by Jasmine Jordan. Congratulations to our track team. I'm Kelton Sorensen reporting for BGTV. Correction, that was Robert Dowsler. But anyway, the track team heads off to Laguna, California today to compete in their next meet. Let's send them some track team. Let's send, oh, God. Let's send the track team prayers for a safe journey. The men's lacrosse team plays a league game tonight against Liberty tomorrow oh man good luck guys and finally good luck to our swimming and diving team who has a meet tomorrow that's it for sports i'm dylan bruton and you guys keep it real <laughs> they're back this time of year there's nothing better than warm weather blooming flowers and the sight of a disorganized bedroom your favorite dynamic duo john assassin and sean hale are here with some creative ways to help you kick off your spring cleaning the long winter, we're ready to spring back into action. <laughs> and it's that time of year again. Spring cleaning! You're probably wondering why we have all this trash. Well, you know what they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. So we're going to teach you how to cash this treasure in. So, what's the first life hack, you ask? Well, since no one likes raisin bran, you can throw out what's inside and use the box. And you can cut them up to make some really convenient and super cheap, almost no cost, jar dividers. All you'll need is some scissors. Now after all that slicing, you'll have some awesome jar dividers that you can decorate to your liking. Have you ever needed a plate at the bottom of the stack and it just does this? Well, I have a solution. All you need is a CD rack. Take your plate with your index and thumb and firmly grasp it and insert it gently into your CD rack. And now who doesn't have a plastic bag of plastic bags? Well, that'll be no more with your handy dandy cleaning box. Just take all your plastic bags and stick them inside. You have a plastic bag dispenser. I'm and very happy. Have it, spring cleaning checked off your list and you're ready to go for the Easter buddy. Until next time. 
Unfortunately, we don't have space for anything else this week. Thanks for watching. I'm Haley Hayhurst. I'm Zach Zeller. And, and this, this is BGTV. BGTV.